Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Thank you all for being here. Thank you everyone. We are just really flying. We are super, super cosmic right now. I am feeling so crazy good. <laughs> crazy good, not crazy. So um, boy, oh boy, this full moon, it has just been so crazy. Like, like before the full moon, there was like a crack, right? Right, you guys, it was like, a, I don't know. There's this apprehensiveness of, of oh my God, yeah, we waited on this the last couple of years and nothing really surfaced and da, 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 da. And then there was like a crack and a bigger crack and a bigger crack and a bigger crack. And now it's the floodgates are open and we are going. This morning, I got up really early and I saw this incredible sunrise. It was so vibrant, pink and orange. And just as soon as I turned around and made coffee, it was gone. No, no joke. So, yeah. And uh, we're going to get into it. The moon is now in Libra. And um, 2021. Okay. So, that just popped up on my screen. That's hilarious. Yes, I am getting into it here, you guys. I just going to pull up the actual chart of right now together with you. So tonight at 7.30, there will be a trine with Venus and the moon. And by the way, I checked in the, um, well, I got notification from the Holy Spirit about that Pluto information yesterday in the dig. That was really actually happening in the stars. There was a square with the moon. I didn't see it on the chart, but it was there. I just didn't focus in on it because I was pulling the cards and stuff and it seems like every time I just try to do a basic collective most of my collective are all Pisces dealing with other people so it always comes up Pisces it's just the way it turns out I I don't plan it it's so funny but I am I do like I did a really super good Virgo so if you guys have Virgo people in your life there was a really good Virgo video the other day about the Holy Spirit telling Virgo, don't give up. So we're at four degrees in Libra. Um, four swords is what I'm seeing here in my mind and the Wheel of Fortune at Aquarius. Wow, I, Aquarius, this is your year, man. You are gonna, and February born Pisces. All the, har all the hard shit is over. Sorry for swearing, but this is an adult channel. And in fact, I try never to pick up on kids, but sometimes they come up in the read, but I try, you know, even pregnancy, because these are collective readings, I try to pick up on things that are going to help the adults be good to their kids. And I want you guys to know that there are people that I really, truly respect, but there's really, I mean, on YouTube, not really. Like a lot of people are just like really goofy. So I don't know what to say about that. Oh yeah, I was gonna say tonight, there's a Jupiter, Jupiter square in Pluto. And um, at 10 p.m. There's also a really nice vibe at that time. And today's Tuesday, it is the God of War, it's Mars. And all the planets are direct. And they're going to be direct. All the way through until April, May. And I believe the first one that's going to go retrograde is Mercury. I'll let you guys know. We don't even need to, don't even be concerned with retrograde. It's go time. This is not, it might be, you know, summer in some parts of the world and winter in other parts of the world. But this is still go time. Is still keep it together, keep doing whatever it is you were doing before the fallout. You're having a rebirth. It's not officially complete until March, but keep at it. You're too amazing to follow in everyone else. Forge your own path. You're too amazing. 
Isn't that the truth? I was just telling my son yesterday, don't follow anyone ever. Don't follow them down the hill. Don't follow them down the freaking ski slope. No. Go down your own path. Let's see what's going on today. I keep blowing the, the ashes around with my cards, you guys. I'm silly. Also, let me put this keyboard away. I'm getting some new dice. Ones that are not so dark in color. Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords is where we're going to cut the deck here today. With the Emperor behind that in the Force of Nature. Okay, you are a Force of Nature. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. Good luck is coming towards you. Truth. The key to my light workers out there is to command your own energy. And there are more people on my channel now other than light workers. And for those of you who aren't light workers and you're just doing something different in life, you are commanding and you are sovereign. You are strong. You are wise. You are powerful. You might even be young. This man I'm talking to today, he's a younger guy, man. He's he's really... Hey, is, if, it, if there's a guy on my channel like this, hey, you're awesome. You could be a young emperor who's going places. I'm talking to you. Look, going places. Two of Wands. I see clearly now the rain is gone. I see all obstacles gone. Clearing the way. So, for there's another message coming in here. There is an emperor who's seeking and going to find his queen. Oh, yeah. He's going to find Cinderella. And he's going to love her. And he's going to marry her. And you guys are going to have like a horse stable and a farm and a, a dog wolf. Um, you guys probably like huskies. I hope you don't do hunting. It's not cool. No need for any of that. That was There was a time in life for hunting, and that time is over. Okay, so Spirit says in some other... No, no, I can't. I personally cannot agree to that. I can't. Love you guys, but no. No, 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 no. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, let's move on. Silliness. Well, I like it. So this is how you guys begin your day with all your glory and all your greatness. Pretty sweet. Really nice. I love it. Wow. An emperor, a young emperor is coming. I'm hearing you're not over 20. You're not much over 25. But you're a real king. Someone with a heart of gold. Someone who's very... Somebody who had good parents. <laughs> oh, man. Many of us, 80s, 90s, 60s, 70s, I don't know, man. That was a different time. So that's pretty glorious. So also, the, the you beautiful queens out there walking in your town of pentacles, you guys who speak to animals and stuff, you guys, the, the way is clear. Your mind is being cleared. You have victory. You have victory. You guys have love. You you guys want for nothing. And for that, you get everything. This is going to be a great read. This is going to be one of those holy miracle readings. It already is. Ace of Swords and Judgment. What does everyone need to know today? Going forward, other than that, I could really end the reading there. I mean, that's pretty good. We have a King of Swords. Knight of Cups. King of Cups. We have two kings and a knight. We have three men here. 
We have Mr. Pissy Pants. Someone's made a decision, and but they're still chaotic, and they're very dark. And they are Knight of Cups. Someone is being humbled. Okay, so we have a man here who is very intellectual, someone who this guy is how do I put this? He's made a lot of decisions, maybe some bad decisions. Um, he might have even misjudged you, misjudged your character, didn't understand. Anyway, I want you guys to know, though, that this person could have ill intentions. He has a lot of negativity around him. He has a lot of negative thoughts. All right? And when you get around this person, you, you have a tendency to pick up on those thoughts because you're an empath. This person also sends you negative messages. I know because you go nine of cups, five of cups, six of pentacles. And we have a, a softy here, a man who is loving and kind, but he could be weak and he could be humbled. And he might be even offended by your directness. But it's kind of like what I'm picking up here is that he's the one who's harsh and sharp and negative. His way or the highway. Look how he's like got the sword. Kaboom. No other way. Then you have another guy here who's coming towards you or somebody wants to send you a message. Six of Pentacles here, Five of Cups, minding your own business in the future. They really need to mind their own business. This makes me very sad because the Five of Cups is someone who's disappointed in love. Disappointed in love. Look at all the cups. So you're in the process of moving forward. You have a nine of cups, eight of cups. You're going back and forth. You're at the five of cups today. Six of pentacles. You're filling your basket with gratitude and you are sending off. What you're doing is you're like, You're being grateful for what you have, but it doesn't escape your awareness today what, what you've been through and what you missed out on. It does not escape your awareness at all. You guys know by dealing with this negativity, this really mean-spirited person, and this King of Swords is very mean-spirited. He really is. He's wishy-washy. He doesn't know what he wants. One, two, three, four. I don't know if he's just like, can't make up his mind or has a lot of, he has like a busy mind. He has negative thoughts, negativity, negative. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, let's try to move on past that. Knight of Cups, here you are. 
or here you were, you ran into this man, you, you came into contact with this person, you thought he was nice, and you thought he was going to be your wish fulfillment, that's the past, and then you're at the Five of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and then the Eight of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. You guys have been trying to hold on to your love light. You guys are trying to hold on to and not be, look at the Eight of Swords on the bottom. Your good luck is here. Your Ten of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Somebody is going to try to muck it up. Muck it up. There's another person involved in this situation. They're stirring the pot and someone's going to try to ruin things for you. I want you guys to look at here what you have going on here. You have, you have good luck. Nine of cups. Ten of pentacles came up. Nine of, I mean, nine of pentacles. Ten, I'm getting very excited. Eight, nine, ten. You skipped out the seven. You got seven, nine, eight. Okay. What's the story here, ladies and gentlemen? Six, nine, ten, and eight. That's how they came up. And then the three. Wolf, your wolf, your ancestors, you need to be a lone wolf right now. You need to continue to work on yourself, work on your life. Anybody that wants to come to you guys at your job and bother you, disturb you, just talk to, talk to the hand, like talk to the officials, document everything. You guys are probably getting a promotion day after tomorrow. I feel like someone is like taking something and there there's only like two left. Somebody, somebody is like, somebody has been taking from um, some growth or something, and there's only two left. I don't know what those two, it's two chances, two offer. There was three, somebody's using one, and there's two left. You guys are going to know what that is. You're filling up your basket with gratitude and you're coming out of the five of cups this is just a monetary i know the five is is weird here because it comes after the nine but i feel like that's just you reflecting back on what transpired and what what could have happened right but what is is the five you were left empty you have a Will of Fortune, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. She's coming out of the water, out of the emotions, out of the process of the seven. So you guys are energetically, emotionally continuing to Fill these cups up, fill your emotions up with gratitude and working with what you have. The six goes right to the nine. You guys have a lot of ideas, information, creativity, luxury, comfort, nurturing. And nurturing that part of your spirit is very positive and building confidence. Having confidence in your own abilities. 
to get through the tough times. Today, you guys are just getting through emotional times. Stay away from that negative Nelly over here. That's a doozy. Ace of Cups, the unknown. The unknown portion is that your wishes will be granted, fulfilled. There are people, there's justice here. People are under judgment. These are things that you do not know about. People have done a lot. There's the Three of Swords. There's the Queen of Wands. Being patient. So Spirit wants you guys to really approach your life today with, a, you know, the basket is full. Could it get fuller? Yes. Six of Cups. So we have death and transformation. Somebody could be, somebody's wishing you guys ill will. Period. Here's all this weird stuff under here. Somebody is wishing you negative. They're okay. You guys got to be very, very careful and don't hang around anyone who is negative. Death, Five of Pentacles, the Moon, and Six of Cups. Someone in your family, someone in your past, someone who If someone astro travels to you, you you guys can easily tell them, you know, to go back to wherever they came from and they're not allowed to do that. You guys have to be very, very careful about who you're around, what you're doing, what you're thinking, because that is what you're manifesting. And that is the negativity that a lot of people from the past, that's what they wanted for you. They didn't want to see you succeed, but you did anyway. You guys have good luck. That's all there is to it. Can can the negative people that you guys are still around, are they able to slow you down? No, I don't think so. You guys have strong Pisces placements in here. And so you have to make sure that you ground yourself and take care of yourself and be mindful of what you've gone through. Because you're not going to ever forget. You guys are never going to forget. It. Not in this lifetime. Maybe next lifetime. But in this one, you're never going to forget what it took. Say goodbye to your past and leave the baggage behind for good. Stay present. That's where life happens. Stop trying to carry the world on your shoulders. The moon. It's not your deal. Remember that you can't change anyone but yourself. What has your inner voice been asking you? Listen and act. Today is the day of Mars. Today is the day. It is the action day. Mars is the god of war. He's also up in your reading today as the emperor. Commanding. Let your feelings out, Eight of Cups. All of them, even the ones that scare you. You have such a bright light inside. Stop dimming it. I know I even dim my light on my channel. Remember that you can't. Oh, we already read that. And don't ever wait for an emperor. I'm letting you know that your emperor is on the way. 
And the emperor, I'm letting you know that your woman is there waiting for you. She's ready. She's in her, she's in her prime. She's, she's totally sitting there waiting like the goddess that she is. And you guys, people are always going to wish death on you. You have an ace of cups. They are. Do we want a fortune cookie? Say goodbye to your past and leave the baggage behind for good, you guys. There's Neptune right there. Stay present. Do you guys have Neptune in Pisces? Neptune is currently in Pisces. So Neptune is in your chart because God is telling me it's Neptune. The sun. And here's Uranus. Trying to carry. Uranus just went direct. The electricity. Stop trying to carry the world on your shoulders. And here's your, your Holy Spirit, your cat spirit, your cat magic. All of them, even the ones that scare you. You have such a bright light inside. Do you guys want to take a trip to Alaska? Do you guys want to see the Aurora Borealis? You guys want to get out at night and see, or maybe the Grand Canyon, or maybe you want to take a trip to the moon. I don't know. It's crazy. Can you imagine the signs? Your future positive direction will, will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusion will soon disappear. Love. Love is in the air. I told you guys. I told you that emperor was right there. He's young and beautiful and, and really vibing high. I mean, he's vibing hot. Ah, ah. He's like the best of the best. That emperor that I saw in our reading today, this reading today, I'm not even fibbing. This guy, whoever, you guys are going to be lucky together. You see this? Lucky together. The wheel of fortune. Of course, you're going to have challenges in life. You'll meet those challenges together. Love is in the air, a great time for commitment and taking relationships to the next level. Reflection. I told you guys you were reflecting back on that. I told you. Friendships in your life may come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. That's right. People, I, I feel people in your family. And here's the Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, the air energy. Libra moon energy. Your future. You may travel or host an overseas traveler soon. Either way, great social fun awaits. Thanks, you guys. Have a beautiful day. And thank you for listening to this reading. And, um, you know, let your future be with you. And stay in concert with your holy self. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right? Or sooner. Just depends on what God wants. I love it. So thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. And you're obviously doing great. And I love it. And I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm fumbling. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Thanks, you guys. Bye.